Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rafi West. We're going to talk about this cryptocurrency market just a little bit, you know, because um, as we see the markets are down yet again. Um, <clears throat> is this thing going to sink forever? Who knows? Um, I don't think so, but who knows? Um, also, like, why do we even get into cryptocurrency in the first place, you know? And I think there's a few reasons for that. Some might be common sense, but, um, you know, if you compare it to stocks, it's a lower entry point to stocks. Like, you could get in here and buy fractional shares. So that's why, especially the average person is in on this, whereas stocks, you have to buy a whole share. Anyway, um... I'm testing out some software, so I'm just um, blabbing here about this cryptocurrency stuff. But I wanted to talk about nootropics. And, um, you know, for those of you that might not feel like you're sharp enough sometimes, you know, they say that you only use like 10% of your brain. So um, I wanted to talk about some nootropics that I'm going to start experimenting with. And one of them is L-theanine. L-theanine, folks, which is, um, it's found in green tea, and, um, you know, there's some benefits to L-theanine, um, there is, over here it says, there's been a resurgence of interest in the anxiety-relieving powers of L-theanine, an amino acid found in green tea, you know, since I'm beginning to learn, for example, about cryptocurrency and all that, um, sometimes it seems complicated. Let's, you know, be real when they're talking about the blockchain, even to like define blockchain gets hard and stuff. So um, sometimes you got to reread it, um, which is a good thing, I think. But I'm going to start experimenting with some new tropics. Um, one of them is um, L-theanine. And mix with caffeine, let's say like coffee, I think the ratio is 200 milligrams of theanine to 100 milligrams, so about one cup of coffee. Now, if you're a coffee drinker like most people, after a while it's like water. I mean, it doesn't really do anything for like to improve cognitive function and stuff. So I'm going to start messing with this L-theanine. I don't want to go to the big thing like... Uh, the big thing um, a lot of people mess with is modafinil. And modafinil, if I bring it up here, um, the brand name is Provigil. And modafinil is a, they give this a lot to like um, shift workers and stuff. You know, um, people that flip flop around things like that, but it is a drug, it's treated, it's used in treatment of disorders such as narcolepsy, shift work, sleep disorder, like I just mentioned, but this you have to get through your doctor, and um, anything that messes with the brain, you know, you got to be wary of, even though when you really think about it, people puff, people imbibe, you know, they drink, and that is known to mess up your brain, but yet people do that, it's funny how we humans think about this stuff but um, there's L-theanine um, there's also this mushroom coffee um, from this website here foursigmatic.com I believe it is this website here um, it's got mushroom coffees um, I just bought this one here uh, where is it the mushroom coffee mix with lion's mane and chaga. And um, this one here, and um, I'm going to give this one a shot as well. Um, I haven't yet because I don't just want to try it for the heck of it. These things are, you know, it might be even good for a workout and things like that. Um, but mainly, like, if you're going to study stuff um, and just want to feel more alert. You know, um, so I just wanted to touch on this subject, and um, those are just my thoughts on it. I'd rather do the natural stuff than go for the um, for the uh, drugs like modafinil, Adderall, things like that. So um, 
I'm going to try a couple of these things. Oh, it might be time to try this mushroom coffee mix. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to do that. I'm really trying out this new software here, so hopefully this video comes out all right. Um, I feel like I can't get the video sometimes. It's weird. Or I can't get out of work things. And it's frustrating because a lot of people are getting it. But hopefully I got it. If I did, I'm going to post this video. Let me know what you guys think on these um, products here. Um, what do you guys do to increase your alertness? Um, do you exercise? Do you just rely on coffee? Coffee after a while, it doesn't really do anything, you know, if you're a avid coffee drinker. But um, I've heard of these things. I'm going to start trying them. Another one is Yerba Mate Tea. Yerba Mate. Yerba Mate Tea. And the best brand is, from what I hear, is Cruz de Malta. Yerba Mate Tea. All right. Um, the real way to make it is with um, a gourd and a bombilla. That's how they make it in Argentina. Now, I just got me a gourd and the bombilla, which is this straw that you see up there. Um, I'm going to give it a try because um, that... I do have the regular tea bags, and it does give you a good sense of well-being and stuff, but um, basically, I'm trying to fight father time here, folks, so, you know, <clears throat> let me know what you guys think, what you guys try out there, besides just coffee, exciting coffee, you know, um, let me know, um, I know a lot of people, um, they try these Red Bulls. Um, those things aren't exactly good for you. Plus, you crash afterwards. So just let me know what you guys think about these things and um, stuff like that. And um, I will see you next time. Hopefully, God willing, I'll see you next time. This is Rafi West. Peace.